And if we knew properly how to pray, we should send those prayers through the silver cord. Because the connection we use now is like a telephone line, which is a very faulty line indeed. And we have to repeat ourselves in order to make sure that the message gets through as we intend it. So, when you pray, speak as you would speak through a very long distance telephone line. Speak with absolute clarity and actually think of what you are saying. The fault, I should add, lies with us here on this world, lies with the imperfect body we have on this world. The fault is not in our guardian. Pray in simple language, making sure that the requests are always positive and never negative. Having carefully framed our prayer to be absolutely positive and to be absolutely clear of any possibility of misunderstanding, repeat that prayer perhaps three times. Let us have an example. Suppose, for instance, that you have a person who is ill and suffering and you want to do something about it. You should pray for the relief of that person's suffering. You should pray three times, saying exactly the same thing each time. You should visualize that shadowy figure, that insubstantial figure, actually going to the house of the other person, following the route which you would yourself follow, entering the house and laying hands on that person and so effecting a cure. I will return to this particular theme in a moment, but first let me say that you should repeat that as many times as are necessary. And if you really believe, then there will be an improvement. This uh, matter of a complete cure, well, if a person has a leg amputated, no amount of prayer will replace it. But if a person has cancer or any other grave disease, then that can be halted. Obviously, the less the seriousness of the complaint, the easier it is to effect a cure. Everyone knows of the records of medical cures throughout the history of the world. Lourdes and many other places they are famed for their cures. And these cures are effected by the other self, by the guardian of the person concerned, in association with the fame of the locality. For constant thought about the locality builds up a very potent force. Lourdes is known throughout the world as a place of miracle cures. So people go there utterly confident that they will be cured. And very often, that confidence is passed on to the guardian of the person. 